Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is Mr. Viz. So uh, most people have asked for uh, uh, the third uh, weapon to be held in hand. So as of now, the project has uh, the player can hold hold two weapons, two guns. So uh, people wanted to uh, uh, use a third weapon also, like uh, on the rifle along with the sniper rifle. So people wanted that. Uh, so as you can, as you you might have seen in my uh, TPS V2 video, I have already incorporated that. So uh, I thought of showing uh, how I did that, uh, uh, but this is purely optional. So, so this will be a series of uh, uh, 10 to 12 videos, I suppose, uh, because we, we are going to modify a lot of stuff we have did already. And uh, in few areas, the modifications uh, did a lot of good. The, the code looked much smaller, uh, for instance, uh, I can uh, give you a glimpse of what we have did earlier. Uh, so this is the spawn weapon logic earlier. So this handles uh, two weapons, uh, but uh, this is the new one. So this handles for all the three weapons. So I made it much simpler uh, to do. Um, so uh, uh, it, it should it should look uh, much better and much easier than what we had earlier. A uh, lot of things have uh, converted to uh, small functions and uh, with select statements. Uh, so it would be a good learning uh, for you uh, if you are following from the beginning. You can understand now how we could optimize a code. So let me start with it. Uh, but please try to follow along completely. It will be modification of lot of stuff we have did earlier. Uh, make a backup of your role project before you start doing all this because if you break something, you should have something to go back uh, to your previous code. Uh, either sync your project with GitHub or uh, take a manual backup and store it somewhere. Okay, so let's start uh, here and we will start with the spawn weapon function itself. I'll copy this. Uh, or else I'll break this and okay so these variables uh, these I just named them as local but these are not local variables uh, these are global uh, as per the declaration so we will make it even better we will remove this and uh, better we will create local variables so promote it create a local variable So the variables add uh, within a function uh, come under here. So you can differentiate them between the other ones. Mm, then if you see uh, the variable already exists in that name, just leave a space or add an underscore to differentiate them. So once we complete this function, we will uh, remove the variables that we are not using anymore. So don't worry about removing the variables now because you might have all them already here. Uh, just keep, the, keep this here until you complete this function so that you'll know what, what difference, what different things you have did. 
and uh, before we go there uh, we have to update our uh, enums to have the third socket So here, uh, keep it as back socket one and add a new one and name it as back socket two. Save it and on your weapon buys and your weapons, we have to change uh, to back socket two for uh, your uh, sniper rifle so here it's back socket one change it to back socket two uh, similarly on your uh, Okay, and now uh, as usual, we want to see whether we are uh, holding the same gun in hand. So, for that, use a branch. With the local weapon socket, do a select here. And from here, okay, hip weapon class, get it. These variables, we have already created them, so uh, you can just use them. And uh, we need one more for back weapon too, so So this should be fine. Okay, so uh, from here, uh, we have to get the class of uh, the weapon that is already there and uh, compare it with the current class, like uh, get class and which is equal to this. local weapon local weapon and uh, connect this to this branch so uh, if we if we are trying to pick a weapon of a different class only then uh, we have to proceed so and before that uh, not in all cases we'll have all these three weapons so we will make sure that it is valid also it's valid Valid. So if it is valid uh, uh, and it's of different weapon, then we have to drop that weapon and we have to create a function for it separately. So we'll handle that later. For now, uh, we will uh, uh, holster the current weapon that's in hand. We'll use the existing uh, function uh, that uh, we have already for mantle holster weapon. We we have to add, mo modify this function also. Uh, uh, not this one. Uh, Okay, holster and pick weapon. I'll, I think I have. A, I gave a wrong spelling here. That's the reason it's not popping up. Holster. <coughs> okay, we will use this. 
uh, function and uh, we have to holster here we will we will modify this function also so to make it bit more efficient to handle for uh, handle uh, all the cases and then uh, now we will set the child actor class and for that uh, we will need the local weapon socket again and do a select so if you see the difference between how I was handling it earlier and now I'm using most of the most uh, in most places I'm using the select statements and here uh, we need the hip weapon okay back weapon will connect it here to back socket hip weapon will connect it to the hip socket so we have it uh, created our uh, socket yet for uh, backup of uh, back weapon 2 and uh, i think i've already uh, took too much time for the first video so i'll, I'll stop here and i will continue further in the next video the reason i'm keeping it uh, smaller videos is it will be easy for you to uh, get back if, uh, if you are facing any issues so it will be easy for you to find out in which part you have made the mistake. So I will try to me keep the videos max uh, uh, 15 minutes. So so that will be easy for you to you know, uh, come back and check. So we will stop here and I will continue further in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.